Hello students, welcome to PSZ Chemistry channel for easy learning. Today we are going to deal with the topic preparation of alcohol from alkenes by acid catalyzed hydration. So there are two methods of preparation of alcohols from alkenes. One is by acid catalyzed hydration and the other one is by hydroboration oxidation. In this video, only we are going to discuss about the preparation of alcohol from alkenes by acid catalyzed hydration. So what is hydration? Hydration is addition of water. So hydration is addition of water. So this reaction takes place in presence of an acid. So here acid acts as catalyst. That is why addition of water in presence of acid to an alkene is called as acid catalyzed hydration. So here we will write the general reaction that is alkenes react with water in presence of acid which acts as a catalyst thereby forming alcohol. So here we will write the uh, equation form. So C double bond C. So alkenes will have C double bond C plus water in presence of H plus. So what happens here is hydrogen adds on to one C double bond C and OH adds on to another C double bond C. So we'll put hydrogen here and OH here. Similarly, we can also put OH here and hydrogen only when this alkene is a symmetrical alkene. So when it is a symmetrical alkene, we will get the product of C, H, C and OH or C, OH and here H. So both cases we have same product. If it is an symmetrical alkene. So addition of water in presence of acid to a symmetrical alkene will lead to the product like this. So the products obtained either by adding hydrogen to this carbon or OH to this carbon will get the same product. If you are taking unsymmetrical alkene. If it is an unsymmetrical alkene. will not get the same product if we add hydrogen to this carbon or OH to this carbon. In such cases, we have to follow the Marconico rule. So, Marconico rule is applied when we are taking unsymmetrical alkene. So, what is unsymmetrical alkene? The groups present on either side of this C double bond C will be different. So different groups will be attached to this C double bond C. In such cases, we have to apply this Marconikov rule. So what is Marconikov rule here? Here we are going to add hydrogen to one carbon and OH minus to another carbon. So the H is added to those carbon which has higher number of hydrogen atoms. So uh, Markovnikov rule here is the hydrogen should be added to the C double bond C which has higher number of hydrogen. So for example, let us consider uh, this one here HH and here CH3 and H. So this is carbon 1, this is carbon 2. Here carbon 1 is having two hydrogen atom whereas carbon 2 is having only one hydrogen atom. So, if you are going to add this water molecule to this unsymmetrical alkene, so hydrogen will be added to this carbon which is having two hydrogen atoms. Whereas OH will be added to second carbon which is having only one hydrogen. So, this is Marconico rule. So, let us apply this Marconico rule to an example and see. So, we'll consider CH3, CH double bond CH2. Usually, in exams, they'll ask this compound. So, this is prop 
1 in. So, we are going to add water molecule in presence of H plus. So, what will happen? So, this is an unsymmetrical alkene. So, we have to look into which carbon is having more number of hydrogen. So, this is carbon 1 and this is carbon 2. So, carbon 1 is having 2 hydrogen atom and carbon 2 is having only 1 hydrogen atom. So, we have to add hydrogen to carbon 1 and OH to carbon 2. So, we will get the product as CH3, CH, OH and CH3. So, we will get 2 propanol. So, because OH is attached to second carbon, the, so it is 2 propanol. And now we have to see the mechanism. Usually in exams, they ask us to write the mechanism. So we'll see the mechanism. Before going to mechanism, we'll write the general form of a reaction. So C double bond C plus H2O in presence of H plus will get H. And OH. So, for this general reaction, we are going to write the mechanism. So, it is a three step process. So, three steps are involved in this mechanism before moving to first step because in first step, these alkene is going to get protonated. So, in order to protonate this alkene, we need an electrophile. So, where comes this electrophile? The water reacts with the H plus from acid forming an electrophile H3O plus. So, this electrophile in step 1 will protonate this alkene forming a carbocation. So, step 1. So, step 1 is formation of carbocation by the protonation of alkene by an electrophile that is formation of carbocation by the protonation of alkene by an electrophile. So, we will write the reaction. So, here C double bond C and this will write like this. Plus H O H H plus on oxygen. So, here what happens is this electron will abstract a proton from this electrophile and the electron between this hydrogen and oxygen is shifted to oxygen. So, this part is eliminated as water molecule whereas this H plus is attached to one of the carbon. So, we will get hydrogen here. So, since hydrogen is attached to this carbon, this carbon becomes electron deficient, thereby becoming a positively charged carbon. So, C, here we will put plus. So, a carbocation is formed plus water. So, in water, oxygen will have two lone pair of electrons. Now, step 2. Step 2 is attack of carbocation by nucleophile, by a nucleophile. So, which is the nucleophile here? This water acts as the nucleophile since it has lone pair of electrons. So, it is an electron rich species thereby it acts as nucleophile. So, here H plus 
plus water. So the one of the lone pair of electrons on the oxygen will attack this C plus thereby forming a hydrated compound H. Now here oxygen, hydrogen and hydrogen. So oxygen will have a plus sign. Next is step 3. So step 3 is deprotonation to form an alcohol. So here one of the hydrogen at a hydrogen, it is removed as H plus thereby forming the product alcohol. So deprotonation of to form an alcohol. So C H C C O plus H and H. So here one water molecule reacts with this hydrated compound. So this lone pair of electron from oxygen atom will abstract a proton from this hydrated compound. So here this will take this proton. Therefore the electron pass between the oxygen and hydrogen is shifted to oxygen thereby forming alcohol. So C H C C here O H only. So O H plus will get H 3 O plus. So this is the complete mechanism of this acid catalyzed hydration of alkene. So this uh, mechanism includes three steps. Step one is Formation of carbocation by the protonation of alkene by an electrophile. So where we get electrophile? Electrophile is obtained by the reaction between water molecule and the H plus from an acid. Thereby forming H3O plus. So this electrophile, from this electrophile, a proton is abstracted by the alkyne, alkene thereby forming a carbocation. So, in this step 2, attack of carbocation by a nucleophile. So, one of the lone pair of electron from water molecule attack the carbocation center, thereby forming a hydrated compound. So, step 3 is deprotonation to form an alcohol. Again, one water molecule reacts with this hydrated compound. So, lone pair from the oxygen atom will abstract a proton. Therefore, the electron pairs between this oxygen and that proton will be shifted towards oxygen forming alcohol and H3O+. So this is an important question uh, on the point of view of exam. So hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, comment and share and uh, subscribe the channel for more videos. Take care. Thank you.